Hello everybody, it's Linda and I have just finished a mini album for a friend of mine and this is also my uh, Wild Orchid Crafts DT project for this week. So uh, I have used the Bow Bunny papers, let me see the name of the set. It's the Enchanted Collection and uh, the album is in the shape of a cake and uh, I have uh, cut uh, the pages from chipboard and I just made my own template and I cut them and I did it so that it layers and uh, let me just show you that first and I have used um, this ribbon for the binding and this album opens like this and as you can see, the first pages are like these. The second have like two, two layers of the cake. And then the third has got all three layers. And the middle here is made so that they are frames. So if you want to keep them on display and display your pictures in, that's possible. And, uh, oh, I can see one of these have fallen out. Oh, something always happens, you know, when you do this so there's supposed to be one like this in there too to use as a template okay so let me uh, tell you oh there it is <laughs> let me tell you how this was put together so i painted my chipboard black and uh, i just cut it out with the craft knife and or a scalpel so this little angel here is like a, a resin type of angel and uh, I have a lace applique heart behind it. I attached the heart to a piece of cardstock, black cardstock, and then I just went around the edge with this pearl drop trim from uh, Wild Good Crafts. I put some rose hip or hip wild hip rose buds here on each side of them and two lilies. And there is also a lace, a black lace, if you can see it, around the heart. Um, and so this is actually uh, a functional pocket or a dysfunctional, I think it's quite tight. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> and uh, I used the orchid from Wildwood Crafts. I used some uh, 20 mil roses, black roses. And these are the cottage roses. These are white and I just uh, put some black paint on them and distressed them a little. And these were white. These are the cottage roses that is one size bigger. And I distressed them using a paint dabber. And behind this rose I have a flower applique and a uh, piece of trim here it's a flower too i got this from my dear friend vandana thank you so much vandana and i have the same going here on the other side and these are the tuscany rosebuds and this is just um one black lace and then on top of it is this flower lace trim and these i got from my dear friend annie miss garden grove one here on youtube thank you so much annie love these these are they came like in a trim but you can cut them apart and that's what i've done here and i have some uh, pearl trim down the sides here my uh, binding the the ribbon binding here it is just attached to the chipboard under the paper the pattern paper so it's sandwiched between the chipboard and the pattern paper um up here and down here so if we open it up here's the cameo page and what's fun about this album is there is so much room for photos if you want to uh, there you can tuck photo mats inside each oh no this i glued shut actually because i made a pocket here sorry uh <laughs> hard to remember everything that you do isn't it and uh, this is just a gorgeous piece of uh, trim and these appliques uh, I got my appliques from an eBay seller and I will link to her below because she's got the most wonderful appliques and they're really affordable. And this beautiful cameo applique behind this cameo I got from my friend Annie. So thank you so much Annie. 
and this is the same flower trim uh, that I have layered behind these uh, cottage roses here. So no flowers and you can see the, the lace from the other page or other side of the page peeking up here. So I also had to have a butterfly page, <laughs> love butterflies, and uh, I created this pocket uh, attaching this beautiful, beautiful lace trim that Annie gave me to a piece of cardstock and then I just went around the edges here with this bling trim and here also and I just enhanced the flowers using this trim and this trim was also given to me by Annie. I created the body for the butterfly using glass beads as you can see and I just threaded them onto a piece of wire and yeah just created the, the butterfly body and I cut one piece one petal from this lace flower and used as uh, this layer and then there is um actual applique butterfly in the bottom this butterfly though is from another seller and i'm sorry i can't remember which one right now so there is a pocket this this is layered and there's a pocket behind here and there's also a pocket here so you can put tags here and i have uh, just decorated the top here using some lace trim the the flower trim and some uh i think they're 15 millimeter roses from wilder good crafts and then the 21 20 millimeter one <laughs> black one and i have distressed them using paint dabbers and this beautiful leaf trim here was given to me by my friend Anna Sanero one here on YouTube. Thank you so much Anna. And I have just layered it on top of the Wild Orchid Crafts leaves. And yeah, that's that page and you can also see the the beaded trim around. So <laughs> as I was working on this I was thinking oh my god <laughs> I'm actually making a, a wedding mini <laughs> without knowing. <laughs> Because this looked like a wedding dress, I think. I used the Tim Holtz dress form, as you can see here, and I have UT'd it quite heavily. And then I just heated up the UT so it became like melty, and I just poured glitter on it. And uh, I have created this dress for her, or for the dress form, using applique, using Annie's beautiful trim. And this is also a piece of trim from Annie that I just cut apart and used parts of and the flower and a little bling center and um, this is a Tim Holtz weather clock die that I have just uh, distressed using some modeling paste some paint and uh, yeah what else and just use my heat gun to make it bubble up and you know get that distressed full look I have used uh, a large orchid from Wild Orchid Crafts. These leaves are from um, Magnolia dye that Anna gave me. Thank you, Anna. And um, just put some feathers here, some more of the Tuscany rosebuds, a Cosmo Daisy, a Trellis. Am I lying? Am I lying? Sorry, <laughs> Tuscany rose, uh, one of the smaller ones. And. Um, yeah, as you can see, some layered lace here. So this is a tag. And I just kept my tags really simple. And uh, this is just layered pieces of trim, as you can see here. And this is an applique. This is from the eBay seller. And this is... Oh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure where I got this. <laughs> sorry so this goes behind here like so and then there's the next page i had to you know not over decorate or make them too super bulky because this album is really bulky as it is so i had to keep some of the pages flat um so here are just layers of trim and this trim is also a trim that i got from annie miss garden grove one she has got an a wonderful etsy store i'll link to her store below of course and this beautiful filigree butterfly is of an ebay seller and this is a tag the, the tags are like this is a spellbinders tag and the tag that you saw over here is a baroque die from tim holtz so plain like so piece of trim peeking out here some of the sweetheart blossoms and the 
these I think are the four millimeter rosebuds. They're really cute. And um, this die is a Joy Crafts die. I really love this die. And I just glued it down so that it wouldn't hinder my tag going up and down. You can place a, a photo mat here, actually. And there's also room for tag up here. So I made a little one with just layers of lace and one of the 20 millimeter roses from Wallaby Crafts and some trim. So that's that page. So like I said, in almost every one of these, there is a pocket for tags. And this photo mat was created using a spellbinder style and I just layered it and then I just drew around it and I cut out and I backed it. So you can, if you want to get a picture in here, I just thought that it would look nicer just to back this frame with uh, some white card stuff. So that's why I have kept these in because of course these are functional. You can put a uh, put a picture in here uh yeah <laughs> sorry and um uh flat back pearls sorry and uh just this brad here it's a pearl brad this is from wild Good crafts and this is a spellbinders die uh tattered florals or something I, i'm not quite sure what it's called but i just layered it and i used rubber and buff on it so it's black cardstock and and so is this and this is also a spellbinder sleeve die and here my tag has gone bananas <laughs> so here is a small orchid the 10 or 15 millimeter roses and the 20 millimeter and these are the four millimeter rose buds and this is a magnolia die cut that i rub and buffed and this is just a gorgeous piece of lace so i also did a photo mat to show you what you can do actually because um, this is a four by six mat like so and there is enough room in this to put a four by six photo mat here behind all the tags and stuff if you want to to keep pictures in it and uh, these are the joy crafts die here they are in white and here they are in black i used some tuscany rosebuds here and i layered some flowers and i used again the the white leaves paper leaves from wallaby crafts and then just layered with the beautiful trim that i got from anna so uh, also there is a tag up here it's just a resin heart and uh, a piece of lace and it's a spellbinder's die okay so so that's the the first part and then it just opens like the gatefold style and i had to you can see this is long it's because it goes all the way up here to close so on the other side the hinge is not that big and here's a tag i painted one of the orchids black and i rub and buffed it i used some of the oh my what is it called Sweetheart Blossoms, sorry, <laughs> my brain just went freeze, frozen. And um, uh, Magnolia Dye, the uh, Wild Orchid Crafts, ro Wild Hip Rosebuds, and the 4mm Rosebuds. And here's a piece of link trim, and there is, of course, some lace underneath this. And that goes inside here, like so. And this gorgeous, dangly luxurious trim here is from my dear friend Vandana thank you so much Vandana I really loved it and uh, these are just some uh, cut apart flower trim Venice lace and I just put some heart bling in the middle and there is some flat back pearls and it's layered on top of this beautiful trim here and this is one of the on the edge dies from Tim Holtz and I just put some bling and some trim and this flat back pearls here so uh on this side i also got this beautiful beautiful bling sticker trim from bandana so thank you so much for that and uh, i decorated this is a cottage cuts die and you can actually put a picture in here if you wanna this is just a leaf from another die i just layered a heart on top of a, a pearl Part. and there is just some decorations down here it's a spellbinder's die just a, a bling center and 
a piece of the trim that I got from Annie and the 10 millimeter or 15 millimeter roses <laughs> and uh, the Wally Rose buds, the magnolia dye, and then some lace and paper leaves underneath. And here is a pocket. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> Sorry, you must getting be getting dizzy from me talking. So this is one of the gorgeous new Spellbinders dies, or at least it's new to me. It's like a gazebo thing. And then this fence. I got the fence die from my friend Anna. Thank you so much. And uh, this I just bought. And uh, I have a tag here with a butterfly, which is a magnolia die that also Anna gave me. And Anna, you are really spoiling me, you know. And I just made his body from pearls and stuff. And I used stamens for his antennas and layered some lace behind him. So that's that. And there is again a lace covered tag up here. So then let's see. Then it's this page. This is from a uh, Spellbinders die, this B here. And so this is just parts of a die that I cut out. And this heart shaped doily thing behind here is also a Spellbinders die. And this is uh, another die, it's a clock. I'm not sure where it's from. And this beautiful cameo lace here is from Annie. So thank you so much, Annie. And here you can see the leaves. You can see them a little bit better because I've backed them on black cardstock. So that's that page. I had to keep it a bit flat. And there is a tag here with a fleur de lis, which is from a let's see, quick cuts die, I think. I'm not quite sure. Um layered. And uh, then we're getting closer to the finish. As you can see here, I am back to the three pages. And this is why I folded my album the way I did to get these three next to each other. So the, the tags, all the tags here are the same, right? So I have already shown you that. And there is a 4x6 photo mat in each of these pockets here. So, and... Uh, there is a tag in the top pocket. This is just a bow that I made I, with my like uh, bow easy thingy <laughs> uh, that I just made out of chipboard. And there is the same heart tag on each of the sides here. So yeah, and then I have to show you the back. Oh, yeah, the decorations here. It's a little bit different. There are the same roses that you've seen before and a small orchid and a lily and uh, the beautiful rose buds same on each side so i'm i'm really happy with how this album turned out and i hope my friend will like it and the back of it is heart shaped so this is just a heart doily die uh, that I cut out and this is just a metal heart and I clustered some flowers here. I used the wild hip rose buds, the Tuscany rose buds, the Tuscany roses, a cottage rose and I layered with lace here and uh, these beautiful spellbinders leaves. And this beautiful flower trim here is from Annie's shop. So um, I'm loving this. Thank you so much Annie. And I just put some bling centers in the middle of the flowers and here is a tag and the the leaves from anna just layered lace and this is no tag this is just decoration and it's just layered lace flowers so okay i hope you like my album and i hope i didn't make you dizzy with all the explaining and talking and thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for leaving me such wonderful comments. I truly appreciate it. And I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day. So I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.